Hi, this is George Mills, developer of V1 Driver. I'm going to give you a quick demo of how Auto Learn and Auto Unlearn works. Um, before I do anything, I'm going to wipe out all my data. It's all, and everything is gone. Uh, now let's zoom in a bit. Let's see where we are. Check my settings. And I've got my distance set to 200 feet for a more uh, exotic effect. Um, and let's we'll leave the savvy where it is. And everything else looks good. Uh, so I'm going to drive around the block. Oh, one other thing is I notice I set the time here to just a, you know, like a fraction of a, a minute. Uh, nothing happens in less than a minute, so it's basically running in one-minute intervals. So that one minute is one day for you guys. Um, so I'm going to go around the block and pretend it's been a day. Um, so um, let me uh, fire up my gun. I just got a gun sitting in the car with the trigger on. And as soon as it comes up, it should give me... Um, right now I'm under savvy. Um, so let's actually shut Savvy off for the moment. And, and now I get my pin. Uh, so I'm going to drive around the block. And this is going to be a little bit boring, but I'm, it's ex as accelerated as I can make it. But it's a lot of my stuff is based on time. Um, I should drop a new pin there. Um, you notice it rented two records. Um, these are all what we call, you know, new pins or uh, one-hit wonders. I got my Valentine turned way down. Hopefully, it's not annoying the audio too much. Uh, you can ignore the direction because the guns. Ah, squirrel. I'm actually pretty impressed with how consistent the GPS stuff is. It's always, the pins always land right on the road, and when they get hit again, they always get hit. Um, I haven't had too much problem with the GPS locations being jumpy. Um, so I'm just going to keep going around the block here. Um, to think of other things to tell you about while I'm getting around the block. So as I loop around the block, it's been over a minute. So as far as the software is concerned, it's like being another day. Um, so you kind of present, pretend that um, I parked at home and uh, put the car away for the night and got up the next day and I'll be on my one block route around the block commute again. And so all these black pins will switch from uh, new. Uh, in fact, if I switch this right now to new, they're all new pins. Um, and see now the first one turned red, which means it's learning. So it's got a second hit on that pin go around and they'll all turn red. And I assume you can hear the uh, Valentine beeping away. I'll be at a good level. Um, and if I had Savvy enabled, which maybe I'll turn back on, Let's just tap it, turn it back on, and now um, going too slow, speed back up, still got it, but now maybe on the corners we might miss a couple, uh, because i got to slow down to take the turns. Let's see what happens. Sometimes I like setting the distance to like 10 feet, and just to see what happens. Uh, it's kind of fun. wide turn so I can take it a little faster. <clears throat> Here's a sharp turn so we might miss a pin here. 
miss the one coming into the turn, but might on the one coming out. Let's see. Yeah, there's the savvy just kicked in. And oh, it did catch it. I'm gonna drive a little slow. Stay under savvy just so you can see the effect. change something. Yes, actually, maybe I did. It won't put a new pin under Savvy, but it will do an upgrade. That's what's going on. All right, so now uh, the Valentine is staying quiet because it's hitting these for a third time, and it's staying muted. for a second and then remuted, which is normal. The next pass, it should stay, it would stay muted. Normally these would be spread over a much larger area, so you wouldn't get that uh, frequent uh, little blip. Uh, but again, this is only as it's locking for the first time. The next pass should be quieter. saying, oh, I came into this and said, oh, wait a minute, I've seen this a third time, I better go mute. So we're all fully learned here. It's been, it's been three commutes, one minute apart instead of 24 hours apart, and we hit every pin. So now I'm going to basically shut the radar gun off, and now we can make three trips around the block again. And to show you the effect of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to emulate sort of what I expect to normally happen and that is every time you get in the car it checks to see um, whether it should reset everything and do some processing so it does that when it connects and it checks the time again the time has been long enough so I'm going to disconnect and reconnect and if I go back to this map, now this is a debug feature, but I'm just showing you for effect here, that everything should be, it's one not marked, probably because it's a new one. Um, so um, it marked basically all these pins as unvisited. So you've just got in the next day, you got in your car, and it basically marks the whole map as unvisited, unconfirmed. So as I drive around the block, it's going to say, hey, you visited this place, but I didn't see any radar. Uh, it doesn't know when it's going to not see radar, but it's just saying, I've been there. Uh, so it's, it's a little, what we call a state machine. So right now it starts out, it's unvisited, unconfirmed. And as I go around the block, it's just saying, I'm going from unvisited, unconfirmed, to visited, unconfirmed. If I were to... Um, in fact, I can do it as an example, is I'll turn the radar gun on just for a moment here. Let's see if one more pin. Okay, so now I'm going to turn the radar gun on and emulate that this is an actual uh, real false that we want to keep blocked out. And we'll turn that on. Turn the gun on. on. Okay, and now these... We'll still get marked as um, 
as visited, but this one's going to get marked differently. This one's going to get marked but confirmed as radar. And we can look at that as well. Again, this is all for debug. You don't really have to go into all this. It's just to prove that it's working for me. Uh, is These are the ones we all visited, never confirmed. And then here's some that we just confirmed. Uh, so the confirm means it confirmed that it found radar there. So we got a few confirmed and a few unconfirmed. We don't know when the unconfirmed might go confirmed. We just mark it saying, hey, we've been there and whether we've seen radar. And those are done at two different times. I'm going to shut the radar gun back off again. And we're gonna, I'm going to change this display again to, yeah, I'm going to leave it to what it is, visited unconfirmed, meaning these are, I've visited these places, but I don't know if radar will be found or not yet. So um, again, this is one day. We're pretending to be one day of commuting or whatever. It, doesn't, it could be over months or it could be over days. And so we visited all these places and we're basically back at home again. And the software is going to, um, again, it'll assess whether a day has gone by or not. And when you get home, you disconnect. I'm just going to manually disconnect it. And then I'm going to reconnect. And when I reconnect, go back to the map, they're all gone again. Now they're back to unvisited, unconfirmed. And if I look at one of those pins, it says visits one. That me and when that visits gets to three, it demotes it. And if it's demoted, it basically takes the GPS lock off. So I'm gonna go around again. And same thing's gonna happen. These will just disappear as I go around. Should disappear as I go around. Come on. There they go. I don't know why they took a while. Maybe time had to go by. Time. See if the next one goes. Now I turned on the gun here. Now it shouldn't matter. Um, some of these I turned the gun on. And um, so they're going to be one behind. Uh, so they won't get demoted at the same rate as the other ones because it got one confirmation. Um, so when I get around the block here, uh, again, a second day of uh, lack of uh, signal on all, most of these pins, not all of them. I tried to make this as short as possible, and that's part of my problem with testing, is I do this accelerated testing, and sometimes it's not quite exactly like reality, um, but it's pretty damn close, uh, but it's the only practical way to do it. <clears throat> at home again. So lose track of where we are here. So now I'm going to go back here. I'm going to pretend we got home. We shut off. We turn back on again. Back to the map. There they are again. But now they'll be, they'll have a two on there. Visits two. That means two visits with no radar found. Let's go around again. Now, even though it's this is sort of the third pass of no radar, 
it doesn't do the processing of that until the next morning. So even as I'm going around and these these are um, these start disappearing again. I think I'm going a little fast here. They should start disappearing in a second. I think it's time hasn't gone by enough. time it did this on the block. Come on. We stopped waiting. There they go. And drive around the block. And bomb bomb bomb. They're all gone. Again, it doesn't know it found lack of radar until you get back on home because it, it, it does I don't try to calculate oh how far am I into this radius how far am I out I don't do any of that math it's just that math can get really messy and the radar is just not that predictable I just let time do all the work um, chances are that if you visited a place you probably visited it in the same place probably drove through it if I never got a confirmation, I'm going to assume that you visited that place and you never saw the radar. And then I'll worry about figuring that out later when you're not even in the area. Alright, so now, this should be our moment of truth here. Again, they're not all going to get demoted because I turned on the gun part of it, and I went a little too fast on a couple of these pins here, uh, and it wasn't quite ready. Um, those two pins there might not get demoted yet. All right, so now I'm going to disconnect and connect again, and reconnect, and now if I go back there, they should be demoted, and they are, all the blue pins. And you can see the green ones on the other side of the block is where I turned the radar gun, on those got confirmed once those should probably have a, a, a visit count of two on them and they do so eventually they would get demoted if I kept driving around there with the gun off uh, so this handles you know door openers being turned on and off um, and um, signs being moved around and stuff like that um, so that's basically how it works and so these pins would get promoted again if it's our GPS um, a GPS uh, signal, you know, uh, a radar signal again, and I keep track of how many times it's been promoted and how many times it's been demoted. And I haven't done anything to, to worry about what to do with that in the long run. Like, do you, if you've had 10 demoted and one promoted, you want to walk it permanently demoted or permanently promoted? Uh, I haven't decided what to do with those yet, but, um, but general demotion works. Uh, but some of them might toggle back and forth. Uh, so that's it for uh, this video. Sorry, I don't have time to do much.